All right, everybody. Final thoughts time and final scoring for Fire at Will. Let's uh, finish off the scoring first of all. So Jen and I, we actually went through and you know did all of our cannons. And as it stands right now, um, well, actually, before we do, there's a couple things happened. I did mess up on one of my flags. I had put a flag on Jen, and I don't know how, but I got confused about it, and I was basically did not have enough fires to actually um, count for this flag. So I had played a flag even though because I thought I played a fire correctly, but it turns out I didn't. So I had one flag left over off of Cannon 6, and because I did, I lose three points. One, two, three for my overall score. Jen, however, she had a slightly bigger problem over this game. On Cannon 4, I don't know how you can see this, she had a load, ready, aim, and she was doing really well. Three star, three star, three star, but then she played her maneuver. And so that was great, um, you know, because she played in the right spot, and that scored her a point for that maneuver card, but it also, when you play a maneuver, it breaks the flow. And Jen didn't, um, she, she kind of got confused on it because she went load, ready, aim, maneuver, fire. And the problem was this maneuver basically undid the whole chain. So this fire was useless. So basically this whole chain, which would have scored her two points, was gone. And that means one of these flags didn't get taken. And then after that, Jen followed with another load fire. That was just a simple one-two, so she gets another point for that. And that gets rid of the last flag. But now, that means she had one flag she didn't account for either. So she also loses one, two, three points for that one flag because she got confused. Now, we actually do... Now, interestingly, in this game, we both played all our maneuvers correctly. So there's no, um, but if one of us had not played a maneuver in the correct space, then if the other person had more maneuver cards played correctly, that person would basically score an additional point for every maneuver card. Uh, you know, and they just put all the maneuver cards into your deck. But as it happened, we both played all our maneuvers correctly, even though it did hurt Jen because it messed up one of her firing sequences. So she ended up losing three points because of it. So anyway, so nobody gets bonus points for maneuvers. And then at the end, this is our final score. This is Jen. This is me. And we... Ah, wow. Oh my gosh. This is really close. I think this is going to be within a card of each other. Wow. Jen thought she got completely swamped, but it's not the case. So I'm going to have to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Sorry, this is not particularly compelling, but oh, the drama. Give me a drum roll. I got 45 to beat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30
Um, although, man, they make you work up a sweat. I'm sorry Jen is not here to give her final thoughts because she is literally going to take a shower now because we were both so sweaty from that one quick playthrough. Um, so they're definitely exciting. I really enjoy them. I mean, how you just saw me playing isn't too terribly far removed from how I normally play because I love shouting fire whenever I, you know, I get a... And I love going ready aim fire even if it is giving away too much information just because I get so caught up and so excited about the game. Jen, she has kind of mixed feelings about it, to be honest because she, well, I mean, it's a real challenge for her. And what she said is, you know, she enjoys playing the game. It's not her favorite game in the world, but she enjoys playing and she appreciates it because it teaches her a skill she doesn't normally have. Jen, um, you know, I guess just doesn't play video games as much as me and isn't quite as comfortable with the really, really high stress, um, you know, got to get it right or you will get blown up in your face real-time game like this. But like I said, she does still enjoy it anyway because she knows the more she plays this, the better she'll get at that. And it's literally kind of get, you know, teaching her a skill she doesn't normally have. But even still, I mean, th these things are very, very stressful, particularly because she knows I am so much better. We tied in this game just now, and that was the first time, and we've, we've played this game several times ever since I got the prototype. This was, a, you know, and I pretty much destroyed Jen every single game we played. This time we tied, and I'll tell you why. It's because I spent half of my time explaining strategy. I could have been playing twice as fast as I was if I hadn't been explaining as I was playing, and that ended up becoming a handicap for me that allowed Jen to tie me. But even then, she didn't beat me, even though she was playing as best she could, just because, you know, she gets kind of, ah! and but that's the point of the game. That's that's the fun. And when um, you lose track of, well, where was I? Ah, should I just keep going? Do you take a chance and maybe the the the, uh, the cannon will blow up? Or do you, you give up on that and you reset it? And that's one less point you can score. Every time you reset your cannon, that's one less flag you can play on your opponent. So you're, you're losing points to take the chance of, you know, and maybe you weren't going to breach anyway. So it's a really, really clever game. There's a lot of fun stuff going on. And if you like these kinds of real-time games, um, or if, if you like video games and you're trying to find a board slash card game that you could get a video game fan in your life to play with you, this might be a good um, choice because it has that really, really intense, in-your-face excitement of a, of a really kick-ass death match in, um, you know, in a first-person shooter or something like that. Because this is literally it's shooting. You got your six cans lined up and it's just all out, balls to the wall, Total Warfare. And so it's, it's, it's a fun, quick game. I mean, you could easily play you know, best of three to, you know, and, and have like a nice little half hour experience. Setup is really, really quick. Um, scoring is really, really quick. I mean, when both players are doing it at the same time, you just pop, 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 you know, and then you just you get through it really, really quickly. And it's an enjoyable, solid, fun, real time um, warfare duel set in a steampunk universe with flying ships shooting the crap out of each other. And that, folks, is Fire at Will. Now, if you're interested in it, you can um, follow the links. It's there right there on screen, or there's a link in the show notes to go to the Kickstarter page and learn more. But otherwise, I'm going to call it quits right there. Wish you guys all a very, very happy day. I hope you enjoyed this run-through of this cute little portable um, game. Questions, comments, concerns, as always, let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.